Today, I'm gonna to take you through setting up shipping and returns in Google Merchant Center Next. There are two ways to add shipping information. You can add the info through the product feed or directly into Google Merchant Center. I recommend adding it directly into Google Merchant Center as it's much easier to troubleshoot problems and make changes later on. So let's go to our Google Merchant Center account and do that right now. Here. On the left, click on shipping and returns. We don't have any shipping options set up, so I'm gonna click on add shipping information. Google Merchant Center has picked up that I'm in the United States since I already added that in my business information section, so it appears on the screen. But if you can ship to several countries, you can select them here. We're only supplying the US, so I'm gonna choose it here and click continue. On this page, you have the option to set up shipping for all the products in your store or selected products. You can segment different products into groups using labels. If you sell products that you wanna set up different shipping options for. We're gonna choose all products for this case. Next, you need to enter the order cutoff times per day. In other words, what is the latest time that a customer can place an order so that it will be processed on that day? Then add your handling times, which is how long it takes to process and pack the order. And finally, the transit time. You can see that as I change the information in these boxes, the total delivery time is updated here at the bottom. You can also adjust the days when our orders will be processed. So our packing facility is open Monday to Friday, which is what I'm gonna put here. Click continue. On this page, you can set the currency for the shipping costs and whether you're setting up free shipping or paid shipping. You need to choose the correct option for your store and what matches your shipping page on your website. You can also set up free shipping based on the order value. So here's how that works. In this box, you will add the order value that qualifies for free shipping. And here you will add how much the customer will pay if they don't order the required amount. The other option you have is to set up shipping based on price, carrier, and weight. There's also an advanced section where you can create shipping groups for various weight ranges. Choose whichever option applies to your business. We're going to set up free shipping. And a word of advice here, if you can offer free shipping for your customers, do it. Free shipping is the number one factor in why people choose a retailer. And 62% of consumers say they won't purchase with a retailer if free shipping isn't offered. There's no getting around how powerful free shipping can be for your sales. So here you can see that our free shipping is set up. Next, we want to go and add our returns policy. Click the returns policy tab and then click on add return policy. In this block, you can paste the page URL from your website where customers can go and read your return policy. Make sure that it's up to date as this is the page that Google will check to verify your returns policy. Next, choose the countries that you deliver to. If you ship to more than one country, then you'll need to provide more information here, such as how customers can return the product, shipping labels, restocking fees, etc. Fill this in if it applies to your business. We only ship to the US, so we need to answer these two questions on the screen. And here you'll see a summary of what you entered on the previous screen. Confirm that the information supplied is correct and matches what you have on your website, then click save. And here you see that our policy is added for the United States. The status at the moment shows NA, but after a few minutes, it appears as pending, which means Google is still busy checking our returns policy page against the information we just supplied. Verification can take up to three business days. That's how you set up shipping and returns in Google Merchant Center. If you're trying to optimize your shopping campaigns to make more money, then check out our free Google Shopping course. You'll learn everything you need to optimize and scale your shopping campaigns all for free. I'll leave a link down below. And if you found this video useful, please hit a thumbs up and leave a comment down below.